Welcome to the Rolls-Royce Wraith. Black badge, overdose, being launched tomorrow. There are a couple of things about this Rolls-Royce Wraith overdose that is just so special. That plane flying above us is not part of it. They wanted it to be a little bit more crazy. Coming in to the house after day of work, loosening the tie, jacket out, on the couch with a glass of whiskey. This is the Rolls to have. What we did in the overdose version is just to accentuate that, yes, even more. Apart from the windows, the headlights, the taillights, and the number plates, everything in this car is black. Let's talk about the overdose kit. Now, the overdose kit makes this car wider by 13 centimeters wider than the standard one at the back. Because the car is so much wider, they needed to fit a new bump at the back. It is a very fat car, this. But there's also a new bumper in the front. Fat looking, good fat. Mmm, lecker. And of course, the car has new side skirts. These 22 inch wheels look superb in the car. And right now, you can see how low down this Rolls is actually laying. 40 millimeters lower than the standard version because it's been fitted with one of our lowering modules. So you can actually take four people with you. It's not just two and then two with no legs. It really has seats for four people to travel in luxury. And then it has the boot capacity to mate all of that. But what happens under the hood in the front? That's really quick, this. This car's been fitted with a 6.6 liter, not the 6.75 liter twin turbo V12 that we get in the Cullinan and in the Ghost. Now with our stage two performance package on this Rolls Royce, power is up to 717 horsepower, but it is really the torque that makes more of a difference. A whopping 986 Newton meters. That is ridiculous. to what you'd get in the Ghost, this car still only drives the rear wheels, which means all that power is sent there through an eight-speed automatic gearbox. Speaking of which, I think it's time for us to go and take it for a drive. But before we do that, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now we've nearly hit the 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you so much for each and every one of you that have played a part in that. You can also follow us on Instagram at Novitech Group or me personally at Beyond the Cock. Now, let us know in the comments what you think about this car, what you would have done, or maybe what you would have changed. Special this car. One thing though that I don't really like about this car is the key it feels like it's a bit cheap and plasticky the optics on the key is actually not really that bad it looks great with the rolls royce on there but it's just feels like it's a little bit on the cheap side there's a lot of plastic in there and a bit of a vibration kind of a pity but what the heck let's take it for a drive <laughs> Conveniently, sitting in a car like this, you can't reach the door. You've got these buttons over here. That'll just take care of that for you. Leave Johnson without a job. You're sitting up here like you're in parliament. Have a job to do. You're important. <laughs> it's all rubbish, but it just feels that way. They state that it is the fastest Rolls Royce that they've ever made. Oh, 
my word. Okay, maybe they're not totally in the wrong with that. <laughs> it feels whoa, very different. Did I just get a little bit airborne there? <laughs> in a Rolls Royce. Not sure that's going to be in the film though. Don't want to get fired. There is way more in the grunt department with this car than with the other ones. The shape of the car is actually giving an indication of the fact that this is meant to shunt and it does. Freaking noodles. <laughs> and they're in the heart acceleration. There is quite a sufficient little grunt coming from the engine. I do not know what that sounds like at the back, but in here, there's a bit of a scream of stamina. So what are the figures? Zero to 100 in standard form, 4.4 seconds. Top speed, not too sure about that. Probably limited around about 260. How does the interior of this car differentiate from the Ghost, the Cullinan and so on and so forth? Well, in a sense, not that much. They only choose the leather from bulls, not from cows. They say that it's a better quality or possibly has no stretch marks, which is not something you want to be telling Miss Daisy. But then again, you probably don't want your skin to be used to decorate a car. The dark leather with this orange underlaying stitch, find that super, super sexy. The watch that's been placed over there is interesting. Yes, you can see what the time is as the driver, but you're gonna have to look over there, take your eyes off the road, which is not necessarily a good thing. The glossy finish on a lot of the interior of this car is a very sexy thing, especially the speaker covers. Now there are 18 speakers in the bespoke sound system that you have fitted in your Rolls Royce. Now the system is really clever because while it's playing music, it's actually listening to it at the same time and figuring out if there are any unwanted noises. And if there are, it'll make adjustments to filter it out. Now, if you're not driving, and if you're not the passenger in this car, but you're riding in the back, there's just heaps of luxury back there. Of course, looking up, there's this starry heaven. Now, Rolls-Royce is really into the business of giving you a super, super comfortable ride. I mean, this cow, this cow, and they don't even notice. That is Rolls-Royce. This car scouts the road ahead, uh, to see if there are any uneven patches, and then it'll adjust the suspension in milliseconds accordingly in order to give you the smoothest ride ever. It's a really clever car, this. Something I'm not crazy about is the details in this speedometer. There seems to be just way too much detail going on there. If it weren't for the fact that you needed to know how fast you're driving, I don't even know if Rolls-Royce would even have fitted numbers or dials to the speedometer. Back in the day, I was told that if you asked Rolls-Royce, well, how many horsepower does that car have? Then they would have said, enough. Is Rolls-Royce your cup of tea? Is the Wraith Black Batch Overdose your cup of tea? Not just optically, but also performance-wise. Mother. <laughs> Let us know down in the comments. If you haven't yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, we're nearly at 100,000. Help us get there. And until next time, ciao. New sheriff in town, I get a little reckless. Mr. Memo, go check the message. I ain't then came back for seconds. I ain't seen your fake little necklace. Lifestyle decrepit, I should probably expect this. Too much game for your league. I'm Hussein with Steve. I'm Hussein on me. Legendary, I'm everything you aim to be. I'm insane and free. You can't tame the beast. Uh. Happy rolls, happy cows. Everything with the subtlety of a button. Pop, pop, pop.